Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In previous video, we have discussed about the hierarchy of SharePoint. Now on this video, we'll discuss about permissions and permission levels on SharePoint Online. So guys, let's go to our lab environment and let's discuss about permissions in SharePoint Online. Okay friends, so in previous video, we have discussed about the hierarchy of SharePoint. As per the hierarchy, we have to create first site, then we have to create subsites. And after site, we can also create direct document library, then folders inside document library and then files. So this is a hierarchy. Whatever permission user will have on site will travel through this hierarchy. So now let's go to our lab environment and let's discuss about permission levels in SharePoint online in more depth. Okay friends, so now we are on Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I will click on show all and now let's open SharePoint Admin Center. In SharePoint Admin Center, I will click on active sites. And here we have few sites. In previous video, we have created this site with the name of test. Let me open this site. I will click on the URL and you can see the site is getting opened. Now let's see what is the permission users have on this test by default. So I will click on this gear icon and now I will click on site setting. In the site settings, I will click on site permissions. So guys, whenever a top level site is created, there are four type of group which are created automatically for that site by default the access defined by these group of sites are on a site level permissions are always travel from top to bottom in the hierarchy of the site which we have already discussed so you can see these are four type of groups which are automatically created and global admin and sharepoint admin by default do not have access to a site if they are not defined as site admin when we are creating the site so as i have already told you you can see there are four type of groups which are already created by default the first one is Excel service viewers. So these viewers, you can see the permission level is view only. So then you can see these are the test members. They have added and contribute permission levels. Then we have a test owners. So these are the owner of this site. They have full control. And at last we have test visitors. They have only read only permission to this particular site. So friends, before we proceed, let's discuss what is this view only permissions. So the users which have view only permissions are able to view application pages. The view only permission level is used for Excel services. Then we have a added permission. So this permission is basically enables user to manage list and they can also contribute to that particular site. Then we have a full control as the name describes full control enables user to have full control of the website or any site. Then there are another group which have read only permissions. So read only permission only enables user to view pages list. And there's one additional benefit of read only permission in comparison of view only like the members who have read only permissions can also download documents. So this is the difference between view only and read. There is one more permission with the name of design. So the users who have design permission, they are enabled to view, add, update, delete, approve and customize items or page in the website. So guys, this was about the permission levels for the SharePoint groups. Now let's go back to SharePoint admin center. Now if I will again click on this link, let me click on document library now. Okay. So now this is my document library. Now if I will click on this gear icon again, I will click on library settings and now we will click on permissions for this document library. So you can see this is the permission for our site test. Now again, I will click on admin center. Again, I will open my site. Now inside site, I will click on document library. Now I will open folder. I will click on show actions. Now here I will click on manage access. Now in the manage action section, I will click on advance. So now we are on permissions for this particular document. So now we are on file permission. Okay friends. So now we have opened four different tabs. So this is the permission level for our test site. After my test site, I have created a document library. So this is a permission level for my document library. After that, we have created a folder 
you can see this is a permission level for my document folder and post that at the end we have created one document and this is the permission of that particular document so there is one thing to notice that if i will click on test you can see some content of this site has a different permission for what you see here okay so now if i will click on document library there is one message like this library inherits permission from its parent which is test so whatever permission we have given on our site level the same permission is on our document library now if i will go to document folder you can see the same message is there the folder inherits permission from its parent test so our permission is traveling from top level to bottom level again if i will click on the document the same permission level is there and you can see this document inherits permission from its parent so what we understand from this is like whatever permission will give to our site level will automatically will reflected on our document so now let's see some more features over here now here you can see there is an option of grant permission if i will click over here you can see we can invite people by adding their name and we can include a personal message over here then we have a shared with you can see we have shared this particular site with global administrator this is my global administrator below that there is a sharepoint administrator let me close it then there is a option to create a group so we can create a new sharepoint group and this group will available throughout the site collection site which means whichever group will create or from here will automatically will have permission on this document level document folder and particular document then there is a option of edit user permission you can see as of now it's gray out we'll see both of them later then we have a option of check permissions if i will click over here in check permissions if you want to see the permission for particular user like i want to see permission for jack over here so this is my user jack i will click on check now so now you can see permission level given to jack is none now if i will see the permission for another user i will close this here i will enter the name rachit i will select this user and now i will click on check now you can see the permission level given to rachit is limited access now if i will enter the name happy over here now let's see the permission of happy so there is no permission for happy on this particular site i will click on close then there then there is an option of permission levels if i will click over here you can see these are the permissions like design edit contribute read and view only and the, at last we have a full control we have discussed about all these permission levels already you can read about different permission levels from here now let's go back then we have a access request setting let me click over here let's see what is it so you can see we can allow members to share the site and individual files in folder if i will uncheck this box user will not be allowed to share this site to anyone if i will uncheck this box then we have a allow access request we can select who will receive all access request on this site so this is the option now let me click on cancel then we have a site collection administrator let's see what is it like for this particular site the site collection administrator are given full control over all websites in the site collection and once we create any site this particular site collection administrator receives email confirmation on their mail you can add more site collections by entering their name over here now let me click on cancel so guys this was the introduction of permission levels on sharepoint online in our next upcoming videos we'll see how to stop inheriting permissions from from site to different files and folder that's conclude our video demonstration Thank for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video